Welcome to Dude RV. Today, I find myself checking out Lakeside on Lake Texoma. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I am wandering around south, southeast, south central Oklahoma. I am on the north side of Lake Texoma exploring Corps of Engineer campgrounds. And today I find myself checking out Lakeside on Lake Texoma, a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer campground. Let's go check out Lakeside. I've got the camera. I've got the GoPro, best of all, I have got you. So cue the music and let's go check out Lakeside. Now, if you've been following the channel, this past Sunday, you saw the experiential video where I was hanging out here at Lakeside, fishing and playing with the little boat. Well, that was two weeks ago. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cruise down here. Now, Lakeside is mostly closed for the season, but pedestrian traffic is allowed. So, we will bypass that little gate. Now we're running with the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. Now, with horizontal stabilization. And it, I'm really impressed with how this camera presents this scooter, these scooter tours doesn't matter how far I lean into it your image stays stable love it so as I was saying uh, I had to come back because I lost the footage when I was here two weeks ago but that's all right this is such a pretty park I just I, I had to come back And it is the perfect kind of campground for riding Little Red. I, I'm very impressed with this campground. All the sites are spacious. They're not crowded too close together. Most of them are really flat. If you're gonna come out here during the winter, there's, there's only a, a handful of sites open. That'll be the next loop we tour. There's no water at the site. You do have electricity during the winter. During the summer, you have water at the site. Most of this park is closed down for the season. Which is good for what I do. I don't have to worry about anybody running into me. There we go. All right. The next loop is the only one that's open during off season. And I believe that's the end of September until March. 
You can find that on recreation.gov. They don't even have showers open this time of year. Vault toilet is all you have. Now when I was out here two weeks ago, there were four campers, five campers here, and four of those five are still here. This site right here is where I was set up. Beautiful, right across from the boot ramp. February 26, 2021. We are expected to have a high temperature today of 72 degrees, which is completely different than where it was this time last week. Last Tuesday, we were in the low 20s. Frozen in. And that was in North Texas. I don't know what the temperature was up here. I bet it was even colder here. All right, so our next stop, next turn is gonna put us down on the boat ramp. The boat ramp here, there's actually two boat ramps, but only one is open in the off season. And that boat ramp has something that I haven't seen anywhere else, period, which is a floating fish cleaning station. A lot of the professional striper guides use this park. When I was camped here, there were there were a couple of guide boats that came in with substantial catches. There's a little white truck. All right, cruise up here and let you get a look at this boat ramp. And courtesy dock. deer that live in this Corps of Engineer campground property. There are two shower facilities here at Lakeside. But once we get into the bigger camping loop, You'll understand why I say it seems kind of uh, strange that they only have two shower facilities. 
this is the other the second boat ramp and as you can see it's it's closed I think it's actually because the water's low there's, a, there's that weird boat This is one of two dump stations. All right, so we're going to we're going to go against the arrows so you get a good look at the campsites. But most of them over here are flat. Most of them have electricity and water. The water faucets are typically in a shared location. We're going to run all the way down to the end of the road and come back. And you'll, on our way back, you'll really come to appreciate why this is called Lakeside. Put your imagination to work and see all these trees with green leaves on them. Man, I bet this is beautiful. That's the second shower facility. So far of the five campgrounds I've toured here at Texoma, I'd have to say Lakeside is, is my favorite. Followed close second place by East Burns Run. Now I've yet to do West Burns Run, so there's actually a couple more campgrounds I've got to do here on Texoma before I say definitively which one is my favorite. But right now, this one's at the, at the top of the list. to the Peninsula Point and all these campsites that are truly lakeside. Water level is very low. I guess they're getting ready for the spring rain.
just so I don't have to go off road again. And just so you know, when you're riding a little red mobility scooter, stop sign. Uh, when you're riding a little red mobility scooter in parks that are closed for the season, stop sign for optimal. campsites but they're not all really crammed too not, not, you know, some of them are crammed one on top of the other but most of them have got pretty decent separation and that pretty well brings us to the end Those are always so much fun <laughs> I'm sure they're more fun for me than they are for you but I do my best to get you involved Lakeside Texoma what a fantastic campground hey if you enjoyed our run through Lakeside I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and sharing me out across your social media and if this is your first visit to dude RV I, I do hope that you consider clicking on that subscribe button down there and remember to hit the bell as well i post new content every sunday morning 10 a.m central time thursdays as well for those of you who have been following along man i, I sure appreciate it thank you so much i am deeply honored that's why i do what i do that's why i take y'all here that's why I drove all the way back up here so I could get this just for you. All right. I'm done. Y'all come back now, you hear?